Hello, my name is Patrick Jameson, and in this video, we're going to install our assembled mainframe, hang the pivot door, and add our handles. After dry fitting your mainframe, apply sealant to the inside perimeter of your opening. Now it's time to set the frame into the opening. I'm going to start with the pre punched holes in the sill around the pivot plate. I'm going to drill the concrete, get all that dust out, fill the cavity with sealant, and then run my fasteners down. Ensure your frame is square, level, true, and plumb. Now we'll be fastening the header with these three punches around the pivot plate. Use shims at every fastener location when needed to support the frame. Since every opening is slightly different, we're gonna leave the jams unfastened or floated inside the opening. I have the header and sill fastened around the pivot plate. I'm gonna unpackage the pivot slab and set the pivot slab into the frame. Now it's time to unpackage the pivot panel. We've now unpackaged our pivot door panel. Couple things about it. Your kerf weather stripping is gonna be at the top of the panel and you'll have bulb weather stripping at the bottom. You have your pivot pin assemblies. The pin will be retracted inside this mechanism for best practices, you're gonna to wanna to use the Allen key that's provided in your hardware box. Extend this pin and retract it. This kerf weather stripping is easily pulled out of the frame for adjustment. Once finished, you can press it back into the frame. The adjustable Allen key is inside of one of the two adjustment screws. This adjustment screw is gonna shift the panel side to side. We're gonna to wanna to start with this adjustment screw that's going to extend and retract the pin. Again, for best practices, extend the pin all the way and retract it back into the mechanism. Being the bottom of the panel, you have the bulb weather stripping. Never remove the bulb weather stripping. This little pin here is our speed adjustment. In the next video, we're gonna use our wrench to adjust the speed of this door. For best practices, apply masking tape to the outside and inside of the panel. Mark where the pin is gonna be located at as it will be a lot easier to send the panel into the frame. Now it's time to set the panel upright. Because of the pin extended at the bottom, use something to support the panel to prevent damage. To determine the inside and outside of this panel, first you need to look at your configuration. Our door's an outswing. On the locking side where the plunger's at, our weather stripping is gonna face the exterior and this cover is gonna face the interior. Our panel is now 90 degrees. We're gonna to have to angle the panel slightly, move it inside the frame, and with our masking tape, we can align it above our pivot plate. The bottom pin is now set into the pivot plate. We can now support the end of the panel with the airbag, get it level, and then extend the top pin at the top of the panel. The panel is level now with our airbag. I removed the kerf weather stripping, now I'm going to extend the top pin into the mainframe all the way. I've now extended the pin until the adjustment screw wouldn't turn anymore. Now it's time to replace the weather stripping. I removed the airbag now. I'm going to finish anchoring the head and sill in. I'll keep in mind the frame needs to say square, level, true, and plumb and anchor both jams into the block. Now it's time to install our handle set. Depending on the handle set you receive, follow the instructions and add it to your panel. After installation, apply the appropriate sealant to the exterior side of your frame. To recap, I've now installed the main frame, hung the panel, and added the handles. In the next video, we're gonna add our keepers, all covers, and make any necessary adjustments.